Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there, folks. Welcome you all to part six of Z Zelda. I keep saying Zelda instead of The Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild, because frankly it's just feeling a little bit long. <laughs> but anyway, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, part 6, on the Nintendo Switch. And I'm exactly where we were at the end of part 5. And we're going to go down into this little place and see what's going on. What's going on? I'm going to say it, you know I am. Lift doors closing. <laughs> uh, I've got to do it every time. <clears throat> and lift doors opening. Right, what have we got here then? To you who says foot in the shrine, I am Bosh Kala. In the name of the goddess Hilia, I offer you this trial. The wind guides you. Blimey, eh? Uh, so what be this shrine called then? Bosch Kala Shrine. Making notes, people, so I remember where the hell I've been when I post the video up. Right, here we go. I see. Something to do with wind, people. We'll keep going. Oh, wait a minute, there's, there's normally a little thing to go and press, isn't there, to get, to update me thingamajobber. So where's that at? Am I being a complete and utter muppet here? It's highly likely, people. It's normally right as you come in, isn't it? Well, what's that malarkey all about then? Right, I'm afraid I don't understand people. The other ones just had a thing you walked up to, updated your schnizzler. And then you were able to do some fancy shiz.
Hang on a little minute. Maybe not. Well, that just looks like a chest over there, so I don't think that's anything to do with it. Right, I'm starting to feel like a bit of a melon. So, is it that they're not as simple as the other ones and you have to actually do some pre-puzzle to get unlock the thing and then... But if so, what the feck is it? It's not even giving us a hint, is it? Well, they're glowing. Well, uh, fuck knows. There's nothing to interact with or anything. Maybe a bomb? Alright, well, throwing bombs works to some level. Does it help us anywhere else? I don't even see how. <laughs> Wasn't far off eating that. I mean, if anything, it's the cold, the icy one that would look like it has some relevance, but. There must be a panel, people. Like all of the other ones that have come before it. Hang on a minute. I doubt it. But... No, no, no. Well, I think we're going to have to come back here later. I've got no idea what the fuck to do in this room.
And actually, I'll tell you what we could try. Not looking likely, is it? Wait a wee minute. Wait a wee minute. Hang on a minute. Well, that didn't take me long, did it? <laughs> nice. I don't know, people, eh? They always get there in the end. <laughs> Do I leave all of that in or do I cut that video down? <laughs> Very cool. Well, that gets us back across, if need be. Chest over there. That looks like a bit of an iffy jump back though, doesn't it? Bloody hellfire. In fact, it doesn't even look like any wind that gets you over there. You'd have to do some sort of circle about for that. I guess we're about to find out, people. <laughs> oh, bloody hellfire. That's not good, is it? <laughs> well, we royally cocked that up and I managed to get out of it just... I say we, I mean, you know, you guys. <laughs> I was fine. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I don't think I've, I don't think my dismount is particularly good yet, people. All ah, right, okay, well that's the shrine bit. So it's whether or not we're gonna attempt to get that chest Seems to save it on each thing there. The save point was there, right? Don't know. Can we do it from here? Maybe. Really? Yeah, it's... It's a bit of an ask, that. I think you'd have to... Ooh. It's going to be a trick to that one. Have to get it at an angle, I think. Maybe. No danger of making that. How the fuck do you do that? It's gonna be. You're gonna have to jump it from there, aren't you? Has to be from there. Yep. 
From here, maybe? Could be, couldn't it? No, maybe not. <laughs> that didn't quite work. Hmm. God, gotta be away. Gotta be away, people. God damn it. Well, there's no danger you can make it from here. Well, that's a shout, actually, isn't it? You could try and float from up here. And get the extra boost as you go over. No! <laughs> <laughs> What's the just how bad is it when you die in these places? Yeah, we're alright. Ah! <laughs> it doesn't seem to give you a lift when you get there, so I don't I wonder if it's just a straight glide then. Just gotta get your angle right and go for it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Can't believe it just did that to me. Oh, dear. Seems to get more and more dramatic when you die each time, doesn't it? The apples are one of the best things you can get for... Oh, no, they were right as well. Goddamn determined people. <laughs> so close. God damn it. <laughs> Just fucking climb it, man. I don't see how... Oh, um, I just suppose we could do it from this corner here. God. I'm starting to wonder if it is possible. That has to be. Why else would it be there? Well, we've tried a straight line, haven't we? I think. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> it's probably got something really pointless in it as well. Can I load my last save or is it going to have... Uh, is that cheating? Easy. Yeah, that's my last save, isn't it? 6.14, which was... Yeah. Well, might as well do that. <laughs> because it saves me wasting all my food. Ah. Well, it didn't tell me it was going to do that. That's a bit fucking nonsense, isn't it? Well, we've already got that chest, so... It's just a case of running back over. It must have to do with the speed you get from this, surely, to Christ. But you do seem to drop. Don't see how much, I don't, just don't see how any better I can do it. I 
if you do it from up here, you're worse off rather than better off. It's not high enough to make any advantage. Oh, go on, get in, Steve. Oh, it was worth it as it happens. Just wish they didn't break. <laughs> Has decent build quality and durability. All right. Oh, well, if they're going to get better durability as I go on, then that's probably a bit better, but... Uh... Very nice. That was worth it then. That we'll do this at an angle. There you go. It was worth the pain in the end, people. And I got all my apples back. At least I think I did. Uh. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm. Uh... Easy. Right, here we go then. Get ourselves a little orby. I think maybe we'll have a little picture. Hello, dude. Your resourcefulness is overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. They're not very... I've said this before and I'll say it again. There's not much variety in what they say. A symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of the shrine. May the Goddess smile upon you and you, my friend. wonder how many of those there are in the game. There'll be a limited amount of them, so... You need to spend them wisely, don't you? Beautiful evening in Hyrule. Well, I think without further ado, we'll just get cracking onto this yellow spot. Over the bridge and far away. There seem to be some goodies up here. East Post Ruins. Did we get there before? Yeah, some big badges up there. Whoa, that's a sword, isn't it? Bloody hell, is it? Why is there not a fucking roll button in this game? This area is absolutely annihilating me for health. <sighs> and why can't you drop from here as well? That's really annoying me. Just go into the quick menu and hit 
circle or something and just, uh, or whatever the fecking buttons are, and just let me drop a bloody item. I've got to get into this sodding menu every time I want to clear my bloody inventory out. Ah, do they not play their own game, people? Cobbling guts, lovely. I mean, there's just nothing wrong with the concept of finding weapons, using them, even repairing them until a point where you find a better weapon and you move over to that. Like, I, I don't understand why they thought this would be fun to keep picking shit up. Who's this? Uh. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that... Well, let's just say it's badder than most. We're doomed. All right. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? No. Well, it doesn't matter who are you. Really? Eh, uh, well, it doesn't matter who you are. Really, I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground. Did you see them? I'm not talking about the mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not... The only strange thing that happened. Those long deserted shrines suddenly started growing. Oh. You know what that means. Yep, the end is here. We're doomed. With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly started moving, you know. Uh, what thing? Huh? I'm talking about the Guardian, of course. Haven't you heard the old stories about Hyrule? Not really. See that thing over there? The one shaped like an overturned urn? And that is what I'm talking about. Mm. Did you know some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. Yeah, well, one shot me as well. This one here? No, it was a different one. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that... I was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst, but I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. Mm -hmm. You think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me? Ha! I wish. The truth is, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. Thank you, Brigo. Whoa. I'm expecting that. Link. Link. Be on your guard. Ganon's power grows. It rises to its peak under the hour of the blood moon. By its glow, the aimless spirits of monsters slain in the name of the light return to flesh. Link. Please, be careful. Hey, Brigo. Still there, my friend? Mm -hmm. You taking a break? Uh, I need directions. Where do you want to go? Kakariko Village. Ah. I see. Kakariko Village is that way. 
On the other side of the Julian Peaks. Yeah, okay, fine. We know this already. I, I just thought I'd see what you said. Goodbye. This thing's shite, isn't it? Well, you know. Only awesome workmen blame their tools, people. Got any sodding apples left? Let's have a fight, people. Blackened crab. A whole crab slow roasted in its shell. Nice, get a lot of health out of that. A blue rupee? Five rupees. Its shiny blue facets make you weak in the knees. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, as it happens, I've not been using my bows very much. I probably should start. Really should try and find out. Look at the fish. Should really try and find out what all this stuff's for, really. Nothing or no one seems to have told me. Nice. Gonna assume there's fishing in this game then. Uh, well, we could go for a little swim, I suppose. frog in the water look. how beautiful is that I 
Well, they look a bit ominous. Yeah, we're going to say, bloody hell. Kit. It's one of the bat that's annoying me the most. What? Give over. Oh, right, it's got a bloody current. Well, that's no good, is it? Thought it was going to get shiz off from there. Sneaky river snail. Well, there's a whole bunch of them up there waiting to fight me. Why would you want to put that in there? <laughs> well, I think I might have overshot the mark there, people. Uh, just a little bit. Well, there's a cooking pot here. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. First time I tried it. <laughs> McClaymore is badly damaged. That's a shocking surprise. Whoa, that went dark almost, almost immediately for some reason. Broadsword. That kind of replaces the one we had. Well, that's a pretty powerful tool, isn't it? Not to mention they had exploding barrels all around them as well, which uh, severely helped out. That's a bit sexy. I haven't been using my shield much though, to be fair. Um, a shield once used by the guards of Hyrule Castle. It's easy to handle, but its core is made of wood so it can catch fire. To be fair, I think the one I've got on is made of wood though, isn't it? Easy. Seems to save when I go in the menu. 
that happens. Right, I'm going to have a little go with this cooking pot over here. So bear with me, people. I got semi instructions for. Uh, this will be a big boon if we can figure this out. Oh, I'll take a torch. Or in fact, I won't take a torch. Because I can't. I haven't got enough. Oh, a throwing spear, though. Don't mind that. Okay, so. It's not a cooking pot, though, is it? Is it? So, if we hold a mushroom, oh, I see. Okay, uh, how do I? One mushroom, one pepper. An apple, an acorn. Add. Stop holding, return to game. So what do I do with them now, though? <laughs> ah! Cook! Nice! Spicy simmered fruit grants low-level cold resistance. This sweet dish is made by heaping tasty fruits into a pan and simmering until tender. Very nice. Check a meal's ingredients by selecting it from your inventory, then selecting recipe. There you go, so it wasn't that difficult, it was just me being awful. So, we could... Uh, <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Spicy sautéed peppers grants low level cold resistance. Fair amount of time on it. The spiciness of these sautéed peppers has been broken by the heat for a sweet taste. So what happens if we do mushrooms by themselves? Uh, a common mushroom found eat to restore half health. Doesn't really say anything about cooking, does it? So, mixed with other things, maybe, but... Honey straight from the... Uh, cooking this into a meal unlocks the potential of these nutrients that provides stamina recovery. Alright, that's a cook one as well. Increase your stealth. Increase movement speed. Yeah, uh, let's bang a few together and see what we get. All right, Hyrule herb. Cook it before eating to increase the number of hearts it restores. Well, we might do that separately as it happens. It's too gross to even look at. A bizarre smell issues forth with its heap. <laughs> Eating it won't hurt you, though, probably. <laughs> oh dear. My first fail. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll have a go at. Uh, we'll stick a pepper in with it, why not? <laughs> nice. 
Nice. Grouts low level cold resistance, a regional dish made by... I'm assuming this will heal me as well. But anyway. Possibly the best cooking I've seen in a, an RPG though. <laughs> it's brilliant. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase its effect. All right, okay, so you can increase the effect of them by doing that. Sweet dishes made by heaping tasty fruits into blah, 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 blah. So I'm assuming that means it will heal three hearts. I mean, that's pretty awesome. We're missing a trick here with the old uh, healing, aren't I? What does that blue stuff do? Applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. See what happens when we cook it. <laughs> okay, maybe not then. Um, uh, can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. All right, okay. Uh, well, let's try. Let's just try some of those on their own. Then this is the Bocca Bocoblin horn. Um, you could do it with the frog, I suppose. We we'll do them on their own first. See what we get. Yeah, it must need must need something with it. So. If we try a frog, maybe. <laughs> Hasty elixir grants a low level haste effect, which boosts your movement speed while running, swimming or climbing. It's pretty handy actually. Especially if you're going up a big mountain. So have we got any more critters? It can't be used as a normal food recipe, uh, in normal food recipes, but it does have some use as an ingredient in making elixirs. River snail. So we could add a river snail to it. I'm out wondering actually, I just looked in the menu there, there did seem to be a, a cook option. Oh, all right, that didn't work. Yeah, look. Oh, that, is that my recipes? Yeah, that's my recipes, so. Ah, oh, nice. That's all the stuff I've cooked. All my dinners. Ah, oh, no, it's not my recipes. It's all my dinners, isn't it? Uh, okay. Cook it alongside a critter, yeah. Well, a snail doesn't qualify as a critter, so they're no good. I think we're done for now. Not sure what they're for. K 
can mix it with critters to make something useful. Right, I think that'll do for now. Well, that's a hell of a difference, isn't it? You know, you eat, eat two of them, you've almost got max health all of a sudden. Right. Onward, people. Now we know how to cook. Could go up that tower. There's an area over there. Which looks like it's got some baddens in it. Uh, actually, this river shouldn't be much of a problem, should it? Because I can freeze the old schnizzles out of it. Oh, hello. Let's take a bit of that action. Very nice. Not overly sure I should actually be going over here at the minute. It looks a bit bloody mental over there, to be fair. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep going the way I was going. But anyway, oh, hello. We know we can go over there if we need to. Something over on that tree there in the mills. God's name does that say? <laughs> Must be in Hyrulean. Storks. Goats. That's a ram, actually, I think. Chest up on that thing, that. It's telling me I can light that fire with it. Might be handy to have one of those. I'm cutting down trees. I must remember you can cut down trees, actually. Forgot about that. Yeah, that was at a gash, that farming hoe, wasn't it? Its damage is good, but it was. I didn't seem to be able to use it. God damn it! <laughs> These buttons. Not overly blessed with good weapons, are we? I've got one good sword there.
What? How can I not light me bloody thing on that? Quite clearly a fire in front of me. Just do it. Thank you. Oh, just lit the one on the floor. Get uh, Giant mushroom. Iron shroom. Pretty sure I saw a chest up there, but maybe it was just barrels. Hey, hey. That was a bit silky, wasn't it? It was just barrels, though, sadly. <laughs> well, as it happens, I think we're going to be going around the back of that mountain. I'm also thinking that we should have gone up that tower, so I should have crossed the river. See if we can get there for this part. What? How was that? <laughs> What's that all about? Got to follow it, have I? Uh, okay, you're going to be like that about it. I knew you were going to do that. Easy. Not what you wanted to do, Stephen. You found me, I did find you. Karok. You're not Hestu. Who's Hestu? But you can see me. I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. <laughs> well, if you run into Hestu, please return this to him. Karok seed. Whoa. I think it told me something up there. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. Oh, feckin' hell. Might as well finish the sword off. Oh, easy. Or not. Oh, I've just hit the little guy. <laughs> all right, people, all right. Let's get to this tower. Fine. 
It'll be a climb up, but it'll be a lovely float down. Dueling Peaks Tower. Well, yeah, I didn't quite think that through with the uh, stamina, but never mind. I guess falling's not really an issue now, is it? Because <laughs> if you think you're going to you just jump off, I suppose, and float down. Don't let go, let go. Blimey, eh? Get a view from up here. Well, we should be able to make that, what do you reckon? Get up there, son. Excellent. Hey, you could put a little thing in there. Yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Madam. Shika Tower activated. Nice. Ooh, pretty blue. Scanning area. <laughs> well, it gives you the region, I suppose. There's bows. Chic slate updated additional functionality detected. Chic sensor searching for shrines. The sensor reacts when you are close to shrines that you have not yet visited. Oh, that's handy. If you head in that direct in the direction where the reaction is strongest, you should be able to find the shrine. Right, I'm assuming that means that. Uh, is it like a beacon, or is it going to be vibrating on me? You can enable or disable the Sheikah sensor with Y on your map screen. Oh, I see. It's going to beep. It's going to beep, presumably. That's quite handy then. Lovely. Sheikah sensor now operational. Release the giant laser. The sensor indicator has been placed near the minimap. So it has. Like a little Wi Fi signal. Search for shrines by moving in the direction of the strongest signal. Oh, we've got a little vibrate there. There we go. <laughs> well, that's not going to get annoying at all. What's that? What was that blue...
Why did that turn blue? Did you just say that the, the thing was lit up? Is that all that was? Well, we can jump down anyway, can't we? Well, as it happens, we are in a perfect spot. We've got over the hour mark, people. You've got extra time today. <laughs> you got extra time in this video. Right, well, that is it for part six then. We shall be back in part seven where I'm going to jump off this thing and float for ages. Actually, I won't. My stamina will run out and I'll plummet to my doom, no doubt. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch once again. And I shall see you all in part seven, folks. Take it easy. Bye.